Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Being Wendy. My name is Wendy, aka Mama Dana, and I do videos on motherhood, lifestyle, and everything that I feel like telling you guys about. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button to get notified every time I post a video. So this video, um, I really tried to think about how am I going to do this, how am I going to do this um, in the past few days, and it's Sunday night, and I need a video to go up on Monday morning. However, um, I've not, um, so this video is just going to be the truth, my truth, and it's very, it's very raw, it's very, I'm trying not to, I'm not, I'm going to try my best not to cut it too much, so that it can just be as real as possible as, yeah, so, so many times, as a young mom, you feel like there's too much pressure around you, too much pressure to do things right. Too much pressure to win in every field too much pressure to to be the best and um since it's actually we're actually in quarantine so since we started this whole um quarantine thing it's been like three weeks like almost a month yeah still because it started in march yeah like mid-march so almost a month i think it's actually a month so last week i put my foot down and i said you know what you need to be more productive you need to read more you need to work hard as much as this time there's so much time you can I've, okay don't judge yourself if you sleep a lot during this quarantine and i'll talk about the quarantine and what it's taught me and what different things but on my instagram but today um, we're just going to talk about my past week because um, on Saturday and Sunday I really Saturday last week and Sunday I really did my part to do a, a timetable. Remember the way we used to do a timetable in high school and all that? Yes, that's what I tried to do um, on Saturday and I drew a whole timetable. I put enough time for everything. I, I wasn't overworking myself because I really needed to be in a schedule so that I can be as productive as possible. Like when I'm in school, I am really super productive because I know I'm waking up at, let's say, 7. If I wake up at 7, the first thing I do is I shower and I do my face. I go downstairs take my breakfast come back upstairs make time for you know i don't know depends if i have schoolwork i can do like a reading for an hour or something and then i leave the house at around 9 9 30 so i'm in school early sometimes i go to the library or i'm just in class reading a novel and then classes start at 11 straight till 2 some days still 5 so when it's up to 2 the last few weeks, I really tried to, after two, I'm going to the library until like five, and then I go home, or something of the sort. After five, sometimes I'd go to the library till like seven, eight, and I go home. Like, I felt like I was very productive. Even when, if I'd come home earlier, I feel like I'd sleep by 10 p.m. So by the next day, I'll be awake early, and I'll not be tired. I'll be ready for the day, and things go, get going. I would read my novels a lot. So my since I started like seriously reading my novel, I was, I, was, I was on track, I was doing so well until quarantine happened and there was so much time such so that I'm like, mm, I'll just read tomorrow, I'll just read tomorrow, I'll focus on it tomorrow, a book for 300 pages, I'm like, oh, I, don't know, I can do it in a day because now I don't have things to do. And last week I was like, hey, wait, no, if I, if I keep doing this, I'm procrastinating, I'm procrastinating, I'm not giving everything enough time and it's draining me. So another thing about this thing is I'm at home with Lena all day, all damn day. And being with her, with my parents, Diana, Moses, everyone is in the house. It's crazy. So first of all, she's throwing a tantrum every minute because I'm around and my mom is around. Um, this thing with kids when they see their moms is something just happens. So she's always throwing a tantrum. She's bullying Moses and I don't like it. So, I even set time aside to play with her and things like that. And yeah, so I did a nice timetable. It's actually over there, it's on my wall. Like, I printed it and put it on my wall. I was like, yes, I'm ready for the week. So, this is my problem when I don't do one thing in my day. Like, if I said I'll wake up at seven, if I don't wake up at seven and I wake up at nine, that's it. That's how that day is gone. And that's a bad thing. Um, I'm learning that now. 
the only thing I have been able to con be consistent with this whole week is working out. I've been able to run every evening with my mom, play a bit of basketball, and try to work out on my own a bit because I'm really trying to gain weight. So I got this app that um, does everything for you, tells you some. I don't know if it's it's actually gonna work, but it better work because I really need to gain some weight. Um, yeah, so it tells you um, how much calories you need to take in a day, the kind of exercises you need to do, and they're not too strenuous because they tell you what level of fitness are you at, are you starting, are you katikati, or are you like a pro pro. So they do that, and then they ask you if it's equipment you need and all that. I will put the link to that app down below, but I've just started using it, so I cannot tell you how if how if it's good or not. Yes, so yes, uh. I've not followed up on anything aside from working out and so I I should give myself but no that's, that's gosh it's it's a good thing that I've been able to work out because I was very very lazy and what motivated me to work out is everyone in my house was kind of fit and I was the only one who's not doing anything physical and I realized that's not good and it's also a good time to take my child out and play with her so we spend a lot of time riding bikes together and things like that so it's really good for even for Dinah because Dinah is a really um she's an outdoor kind of child she loves activity and all that yes so everything else apart from the working out has failed like seriously failed I've not been able to read I've not been able to touch my novel and that's the truth like it it feels like on Saturday I just sat down because I'm supposed to be like every weekend look back at my week and think about it and write write what I've, I've been able to achieve and things like that I want to be really accountable for my actions and I looked behind I'm like Yo, I've done nothing I've literally done nothing this whole week and I'm beating myself up about it because to be very honest as a woman as a mother a single mother I don't think I have the space and chance to be mediocre in any way so I'm actually beating myself up right now like legit I'm I'm disappointed myself I have not been able to sit down and create content all week that's why I've not been posting the whole week on Instagram and I had written I had done a whole content calendar for the week and things like that and Yanni my week was supposed to and the thing Yanni I just feel that like if I don't wake up my day is and the funny thing is I'm not a series person I'm not a movie I, I, like I'd watch one movie in a day or one movie in like three days I barely watch Netflix so you wonder what was I doing and it's also partly because I don't know I, I don't know what to blame it but I'm just taking the blame because it's it's me it's I've not I've not taken responsibility I've not tried to um I'm, pun I'm not punishing myself enough okay not like i don't know how i can say it but i just take the blame and i know i need to do better so hopefully this week i'm going to do better and i really feel bad and i don't feel like this next week so again it's okay to make mistakes it's okay to let yourself down every once in a while but the important part is getting up and doing the work and I think that's what I'm going to do from tomorrow. So I'm getting up and I'm doing the work. And hopefully I'll be able to record that for you guys. And then today I've actually had a really interesting conversation with my friends, my mom friends. And we've talked about disciplining our kids and putting our kids into a routine. And I've realized, um, I'll talk about them separately in different videos. However, I have realized Diana not being in a, in a constant routine drains my energy. Because every evening I'm physically trying to fight the child to sleep fighting like literally battles and things like that and that's not good because it drains my energy i sleep late so i won't be able to wake up early and therefore i will not be able to be productive that morning and yeah another thing that m i know makes my day bad is i will wake up early but when i touch my phone my phone is my biggest enemy and i'm trying to take that away from myself i'm like when do you can't be using your phone that is our biggest enemy. Then I'm not being in a routine, using my phone when I wake up the first thing in the morning. So I'm going to see how well I am. I've actually removed, like just before I did this video, I deleted 
um, the apps that were keeping me on the phone and those were um, this game, some games I, I had downloaded games and I'm not a games person but this games I got them from China and I was so addicted I was addicted like a person of business where my app game and it's crazy and I'm not doing that anymore so yeah I'm done I need to be able to put my mind into and to being more productive for me i feel like i should be more productive for some people who feel like they need to rest well and good please rest don't beat yourself up about it if that's what you want rest but for me i feel like i need to be a bit more productive not that i will not rest not that i'm going to work and go home and things like that no i just want to work be able to take this channel to the next level because for a while we've been stagnating and my views really went down 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 oh speaking of youtube please follow wendy her new channel is called life with wendy mwatha please subscribe to her channel yeah sisters and i'm actually happy she's doing this because wendy has so much to offer anyway so yeah this is thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll See you in the next oh, video. So bye. Lord, why am I? Why am I? Why am I so beautiful? Beautiful. Why am I so beautiful?